Hello everyone and welcome to Moon Night Jewel. My name is Elisa and today it's trick or treat time. Me and my fellow dog customizer friends on YouTube decided to make a huge Halloween collaboration again and I'm so happy to be part of that. I've decided to make the Pokemon Pumpkaboo this year for the collaboration. But before we get started, please make sure to check out all the other dolls by Tendance, Blank Space Dolls, Characters Factory, Delightful, Dolls by New Look, Enchantrium, Haley Crafts, Hexchin, his name is Aiken, Kairos Workshop, My Mini Mom, Papa Natalie, Scariosities, Sky the Golden, The Doll Fairy, The Dolly Geek, and Time at Creation as well. Everyone did such an amazing job. You can find the link to their channels in the description box below. All right, let's get started on Pumpkaboo. For Pumpkaboo, I will be using this Howleen fashion doll as a base for my art doll. I start by removing her factory paint with pure acetone and cut off her hair. After I removed her head from the body, I can scrape the remaining hair into the head with tweezers and pull them out. After spraying her head with Mr. Superclean, I'm starting to give her a new face by sketching out the eye shape after I already gave her some blushing. Then I'm starting to give the eyes a yellow base color with pastel chalk dust and sketch out the first eye whites layer. Here I'm darkening the colors of the sketched out eyes. After adding a bit more details, I'm drawing her eyebrows by first dusting on some pastel chalk and then drawing them with pencils. After that I'm drawing her lashes. Now I'm going in with some UV colors on the eyes. I just need to paint the highlights of her eyes and gloss her lips and her face is finished. After her face was done, I painted her scalp and ears black so they will match with her hair later. Thank you. 
Now it's time to glue her wig. I prepared some black yarn wefts and start at the top bottom of the back of her head and glue the wefts onto the head. For the parts around her ears, I'm using the same method you use for making parting lines by folding over the wefts. Also, I make sure to cut and style every layer after gluing it on. And here's the finished wig. Now onto the outfit. I was thinking of giving her a cute little poofy skirt with the yellow glowing eyes made from resin and some UV colors. A cute baby doll top that has the shape of Pumpkaboo's upper body. A little cape in the same shape with a cute ribbon in the front. Some stockings, boots with ribbons and a cute little hair ribbon. For her skirt, I'm sewing together a lot of rectangles for the pumpkin look and first add a lace to the bottom part. Then I'm sewing a big rectangle to the other half. After I ironed everything in place, it looks like this. Then I'm sewing another line on top of the skirt and pull an elastic ribbon through the tunnel. I usually do that with the help of some safety pins. I also made some eye chips from UV resin and put some glitter in them before curing. Then I'm painting the back with some UV acrylic colors. After I added the waistband and the closure to the skirt, I can glue on the eye chips. I also decided to add a ribbon to the back of the skirt. To make the skirt poofier, I made a little underskirt by just knotting some two stripes onto elastic ribbon. For her top, I already added some lace to the sleeves and sew on an elastic ribbon to the upper part of the sleeves. I pull the ribbon while sewing, this way it will gather when I let it loose. Now I'm gathering the sleeves and sew them onto the bodice. I 
I usually do that by hand with a backward stitch. Then I'm adding a little color and close the side seams. For the bottom part, I already cleaned up the bottom seams by gluing them around. I'm just sewing the back pieces to the front pieces, gather it and sew it to the top part. To finish the top, I've added some golden half beads, tiny ribbons and snap buttons to close it. For Pumpkaboo's cape, I'm cleaning up the bottom scenes of the different parts as well, sew together the back and the front pieces and add the little color. Then I prepared two ribbon pieces with lace, sew them together and wrap around the thread several times to create a cute ribbon. I attached it to the cape and added a little hook and an eyelet to close it. For our shoes I'm painting the soles of these Claudine boots black and attached some ribbons I made to them. The stockings I made from thin black jersey with some lace. And her hair ribbon is made from orange fabric with some lace as well. And we're done! How do you like her? I think she turned out super cute but also looks very Halloween like. I also love the UV effect of her eyes on the skirt. Please let me know in the comments what you like most about her.
and here she is. I'm so happy how she turned out and I think she looks very Halloweeny but still very very cute. How do you like her? Please let me know in the comments below. And as always, I'd like to thank all of my patrons. Adrian, Akanatzelis, Andrea, Iria, Barbara Walker, Brittany Bousquet, Karina Fröhlich, Cassandra Cork, Cassia Streamland, Crystal1314, D2, Daniel Rihanna, Debbie O'Hare, Diana Rass, Diana the Doll Fairy, Doll Oasis, Doll's Brand New Look, Elizabeth, Emily Erickson, Emily McKenney, Gaspot, Gio Sindo, Helen Kirkham, Jacqueline, Jetta Grace, Kiwi of Doom, Cornelia Lucky S, Leila Soto, Luna and Stella Dot, Midori Kiwi, Mira, Michelle Wallace, Miso Yagami, Moonstone Customs, Natalia Kinchlia, Nikki Harris, Orlando Rosario, Paul Dane, Pride Crochet, Kirin Doll, Rachel Gatlin, Rinse Namori, Rose Pendleton, Sally A, Samantha Corley, Sananas, Sophie Lesher, Stephanie H, Stubby and the Kids, Sugar Lump Gift Shop, Veronica Haynes, and Zach. Without you, I could not do what I love, and I'm so, so grateful for that. If you'd like to support me on Patreon as well, you can check the link in the description box. And please make sure to check out all the other videos by my friends too. Also, if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and happy Halloween! Bye!